This is my K75. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of smoke coming out of the back end. It's just plain rich. It's happened after I have installed the EV14 injectors I got for this bike. Now, should you buy them? We're gonna test some injectors and find out. So we have complete one duty cycle. I'm going to remove this uh, protection to see what the value is. Next up is testing the brand new injectors that I've just bought. They are exactly the same specification as the original ones, except for the hole numbers. So they are four hole, so the spray pattern should be nicer. So I'm going to test all three of these as well, and we're gonna see how they compare. Please check out my other content and if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out as we are closing in on a thousand community members. Thanks very much.
So what does this mean? Well, I tested all three EV14s and I did that multiple times because I just couldn't believe my eyes. But they kept underperforming the specifications. And that really doesn't explain how my bike was running rich ever since I installed the EV14s. And believe me, I've tried everything I could think of, but I could not fix the issue. My bike was running rich constantly, not just at idle. My fuel consumption was through the roof and it was starting to be pretty embarrassing showing up at places because my bike smelled like a very old carbureted something that has not been set up properly. So I needed to do something and that's why I started this little experiment with the injectors and unfortunately I didn't really get any smarter because honestly I don't know how to explain this. If you guys have any thoughts I would love to hear them below in the comments. My original theory was that the EV14s overperformed and injected a lot more fuel into the cylinders than the bike expected and having no feedback loop it couldn't correct for it. But after all this testing it shows that the EV14s are not overperforming, they are actually underperforming quite a bit so it really doesn't explain why the bike was running rich. The only difference between the EV14s and the other two on the specification sheets is the impedance value. And I'm really not sure how that translates into running the injectors in the bike, but I would expect that the same behavior should happen that on the test bench. So I'm not really sure. What do you guys think? So what is the conclusion of this video? Well, after all this testing, if you have an early K bike, I would not recommend you get these EV14 injectors. I don't think they are gonna increase the performance. If anything, you'll get a super rich running bike and you're gonna have a very high fuel consumption. If that's not your experience because you're running one of these, please let me know in the comments below because I'm really, really curious if others have experienced the same thing. I completely forgot to mention that after swapping over from the EV14s to the new Bosch injectors, I had re ridden a couple hundred kilometers and the bike is back to normal. Fuel consumption is back to normal. It feels strong, it runs very, very nicely and it doesn't smell anymore. If you have a K1100 or 1200, you might actually be able to get some extra performance out of these injectors because you have a more modern fuel injection system which can actually adjust for the difference in the injectors. And also you have a different throttle body which allows more air into the engine. And also if you are gonna upgrade your throttle bodies on your K100 or K75 to maybe a K1100 one, then potentially you might be able to squeeze some more performance out of your bike. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And please let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Have a good one.